Okay, now we're on to the second wheel. Again, we slip in the wheel onto the axle. I'm taking out the set screw. Put that on there. One, not a bit much. One little drop of Loctite. A little bit of space. Screw that in nice and tight. Wheel rotates freely. Axle goes onto the landing gear. Drop a Loctite. Put the screw on, the nut rather. Not much room to work back here, so I had to grab it with a pair of needle nose. And just to speed things up, I switched to a socket. It's a half inch. We're on there nice and tight now. Wheels are rolling freely. So again, keeping in mind the airfoiled shape, this is the front, that's the back front. Going to slip the wheel pant over the axle and pop it in there just like so. Get the screws, socket head screws, little drop, with the blue Loctite on there. screw it in. Again, I won't bore you with me screwing those two in. We'll come back in a minute. Well, now here's a fun fact. The socket head cap screws provided here are about a quarter inch too long. And if you screw them all the way in, they rub up against the wheel, preventing rotation of the wheel. So, two ways to deal with this. I'm going to show you the simple way here. What we're going to do... is loosen up this wheel collar and this one and by pushing the wheel out a little bit we'll gain the room we need Okay, there we are. We got this side all nice, bolted up. Now here you can see how I've done the spacing so that there's plenty of room. All we need to do now, put our wheel pant on, get a little bit of the blue, that was a lot of the blue, so I'm going to share it between two screws. And 
into the holes they go. And we just screw it all together. Make sure everything is snug. It doesn't have to be put on with a torque wrench. Wheels spin freely on both sides. There's our landing gear. Good to go. We'll see you for the next segment.